What's up? So today we got another uh, Terry Farrell uh, magazine or interview. This one is from Femme Fatales and is from April 7th and was originally 595. Let's see, is there a year somewhere in this? What year is this from? Oh, and this is from April 7th, 2000. Okay, so uh, this is Trex Sexy 50, and it has, uh, I guess, some of the other. Uh, Star Trek women and stuff from the various uh, series and uh, TV shows. And yeah, let's see here. Terry Farrell's uh, article is on 17. And it says here, Terry Farrell dressed to trill. Shifting to sitcom Becker, a Foxy Farrell recalls the fans, Howard Stern, and her resignation from DS9. Article by Anna Kaplan. And it also has a picture of Dax and Kira from one of the episodes. Okay, so there's another picture of uh, Terry Farrell and uh, or Dax and uh, Kira and a visitor and it says here Trex sexiest Terry Farrell all right so this <coughs> interview or what's going on in 2000 and Terry Farrell says, or the stuff was uh, written about way back when, it says here, midway through Star Trek Deep Space Nine's sixth season, Terry Farrell made it clear that she didn't expect to reprise her role as Jazia Dax for another year. While recalling her options, Farrell offered an impromptu description of a chat with shock jock Howard Stern. I did a Star Trek convention in New York, and Ralph from Howard Stern's show wanted to interview me, she recounted. Howard's producer called at 4 in the morning and said, I hope you're not going to kill me, but would you mind if Howard interviewed you? Good thing my time was all screwed up from being in Europe and in New York because I fell asleep at 8 o'clock the night before, so I was pretty awake. But for an interview with Howard Stern, it was like, I need a cup of coffee. I ran right away, made some coffee, and sat there and waited for the phone to ring. It was great. He was very generous and flattering. I had a great time, and I thought, I wonder why I was so nervous about it. It was just myself. It might be shocking, but I liked him very much, and I had fun. By most accounts, Farrell herself made the decision to abandon Deep Space Nine. Reluctant to discuss specifics, she offers only an abridged rationalization. And before I uh, go over to the next page here, it has a little paragraph or description here at the bottom. And it says, Pharaoh and Nana Visitor celebrate Dax's marriage to Worf in DS9's sixth season episode, You Are Quarterly Invited, Once Upon a Wedding, 11 8 
she offers only an abridged rationalization. If you're given a choice and you don't like the alternatives, you say, no, thank you. I had no hard feelings. It was a business decision. It was the run of my contract. I didn't do anything to hurt anybody. It was the end of my contract. The internet buzz, which was later proven invalid, alluded to a <coughs> excuse me to an episode where Jazia would meet Dax's next host. When she was initially tipped off about this speculation, Pharaoh was was t uh, tearfully wait Pharaoh tearfully told me, obviously they've already planned for a next host, so it doesn't seem like they're planning on having me back. My character supposedly knew Curzon before Curzon died, and then she requested Curzon's symbiont. So there would be every reason why I would know who it was. Whoever would be replacing me, I would have to meet. I can't imagine it will be a very easy week for me, but you have to do what you have to do. Pharaoh, however, was not ob obligated to shoot a vignette about Dax's next host. During the tumultuous sixth season, Jazia married Worf, Michael Dorn, in the You Are Quarterly Invited episode, almost died on a mission with her spouse and change of heart, and was finally killed by Dol Ducat, Mark Alamo, during the season by now, Tears of the Prophets. The writers, producers of Deep Space Nine have insisted that they would, that they were hoping Pharaoh would change her mind right up until the last second. Thus, Jazia Dax was afforded a reprieve. Pharaoh, however, thought that her series icon was reduced to a secondary character. I've been pretty much right throughout the year, she said back then. They haven't really given me much to do. Upon leaving the show, Farrell pro proclaimed that Jazir should have expired as a natural extension of the plot and change of heart. She also has expressed interest in somehow making a comeback as one of the Mirror Universe's holograms in the final show. Shifting from sci-fi to sitcom, Farrell was cast in Becker, a CBS series starring Ted Danson. Farrell plays Reggie... Papas, the owner-manager of a coffee shop who has developed a tolerance for Dr. Becker's irascibility. Launching her career as a model, the six-foot pharaoh studied acting and applied her lessons to Paper Dolls, 1984, a short-lived TV series. Between movies, Red Sun Rising, Back to School, etc., the actress was cast as a guest in a profusion of TV series. The Cosby Show, Family Ties, Quantum Leap, The Twilight Zone. No stranger to the sci-fi fantasy genres, she also appeared in Legion, directed by John Hess, Alligator 2, and Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Noted Richard Harrington, critic for the Washington Post, Pharaoh is solid as the intrepid reporter who seems unfazed by anything, even a club full of dead bodies. Reciprocating the attention of her DS9 admirers, the 37-year-old Pharaoh offers a submit. Thank you so much for supporting me during my tenure on the series. It's meant so much to me. I'm happy that they liked the character of Dax, and I've enjoyed playing her. I've grown so much as a woman and as an actress, and I will be forever grateful for that entire experience. And was that the last one? All right, so I think that was the end of the article. Unless this is it. It says, Tribulations in a classic Star Trek red miniskirt is enough to boil the blood of any American or Trill male to the boiling point.
and also there are some uh, some more DAX pictures and it says here Farrell as DS9's Trill Science Officer Jadzia DAX she was replaced in the seventh season by Nicole DeBoer who was cast as Esri DAX DeBoer people sent me cards saying don't worry about fans not liking you because of how dear <coughs> Perry Farrell was. Uh, Daxon Wharf, Michael Dorn, wed in a Klingon ceremony. And up here it says, <coughs> it also says, uh, if you, you're you given a choice and you don't like the alternatives, you say, no thanks. I had no hard feelings. Quitting DS9 was a business decision. I didn't do anything to hurt anybody. And that was the end of that article. <coughs> the rest of this is just uh, some more uh, various uh, Star Trek stuff, uh, various from the various uh, TV shows and uh, series. And it also has some other stuff. What's going on here? Dude. <laughs> All right. And that is what happened in 2000. <laughs>